This is Dakota News Now. Good evening, I'm Andrea Anderson. I'm Brian Allen. While parents and families are still looking to complete their back to school shopping, school districts in the state, well, they're still shopping around for some open teaching positions. The ongoing shortage in the state doesn't look to be ending anytime soon, but this year overall, the state is seeing some relief. Cooper Seamer is here to explain in our top story here at 6. Cooper, good evening. Brian and Andrea, school districts and administrators across the state have had a tall order to fill going into this new school year. Back on May 15th, the total number of open teaching positions in the state was around 515. While there's still plenty of open jobs just weeks away from a new year, things are trending in a better direction. It won't be long until students are back in classrooms in South Dakota, but the ongoing teacher shortage that the state is seeing isn't letting up. As of Monday, Associated School Boards of South Dakota Executive Director Doug Wormadall says the state has 183 total jobs open. While that number isn't exact, it's a good estimate of the number of openings districts across the state have. Schools are not required to advertise with us. So they may have things in their local media and uh, local newspapers, local radio stations um, that may and maybe don't list with us. They also, when a position uh, is delisted, it doesn't necessarily mean it's filled. But that number does carry some good news. Only a week ago at the end of July, that total number sat at around 250, meaning around 70 jobs were either filled or consolidated to cover with current staff. Compared to this time last year, the number of open positions is down over 4%. Wormadal says that's thanks to school districts and administrators working hard to find every possible solution to fill their needs. Those folks are the ones really in the trenches identifying the creative ways to respond to, uh, you know, what, what is still a teacher shortage? One thing to note, though, is that these open positions across the state are not uniform. Larger school districts usually have an easier time attracting applicants and filling jobs compared to smaller districts. And Wormadal says that needs to be recognized. We do know that we do see quite a bit of openings, particularly in a couple districts, districts around the uh, paraprofessional position. So there, there, there are still some hiring to do. And the types of open positions aren't uniform either. Districts across the state have continued to struggle finding applicants for certain areas like elementary education and especially special education, where districts are brainstorming ways to compete with each other for candidates.